A mother-daughter team from Renton is tearing up the competition in the fields of powerlifting and bodybuilding. It's no small feat for the mom who battles a chronic uh, pain condition called fibromyalgia. Please welcome Shisato Dubois and her daughter Satie. Hi, ladies. <laughs> Hello. We're, we're going to pump some weights in a second here. But first, I want to ask you a few questions. How, how did you kind of get started in powerlifting? Um, I became to start walking out when I moved over here. I did it here, and I have a fibromyalgia in here. And then uh, winter time is a painful, so I decided, you know what? If I'm going to be in pain, I did it to be in pain for a positive reason. So I started, you know, signed up to the gym, and I started going to the gym right. and I started lifting weight. I have no idea, but then I started like it, and then just curiosity that I want to be strong. How much I can be strong? <laughs> then I begin to do the bodybuilding. And that's how you know started, and then my daughter was watching me <laughs> lifting weights in my house. I have all these weights in the living room, and then when I was gone, she, even I told her not to touch the weights, but she just couldn't help it. Right. And then she actually wanted to do the powerlifting first before me. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so. You started the powerlifting. Yeah, I started yeah. the powerlifting, she started the bodybuilding. Uh -huh. so. yeah. It's interesting that since you have fibromyalgia mm -hmm. that, and you're in pain, mm -hmm. so a lot of people would say, well, I'm not going to do something like weightlifting. It's going to make me hurt more. Mm -hmm. what, but it helps, right? It helps. How so? I find that myself. Um, I really have not much of the outbreak no more. Uh -huh. And if I have a pain, it comes from the training. Right. And it just to keep moving. It's just, but still, you know, I have to learn to sometime. Right. You know what? I just need to step back a little yeah. bit. But I it just, I just learned how to manage myself, and it just, it's really, it's natural medication. I don't yeah, have to take medication fantastic. to it. That's yeah. the best way to go. Yes. And why did you think that um, you should get mom into powerlifting? What, what was your thought process there? I thought it'd be pretty cool to compete with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see how much she could <laughs> live. Cool. So. How, what's the biggest weight that you've pulled up in, in any discipline? Like, what's the, the um, most? 280 for, oh. the, yeah. for deadlifting? Yes. How about you? 430. 430? Yeah. Wow. So, this is no, whatever this is, is nothing. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like walking the park. Weight. That's amazing. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so, how often do you guys train? Five days a week right okay. now. But you, you probably don't want to train seven, right? You, want to, you have to give no. your body yeah, some like rest. Yeah, give your body rest in so you guys train together often, most of the time? Yeah, yeah. that's time we train together. It's just fun. Yeah. What During a great thing to training. do between, what have you learned about each other through this whole process? <laughs> mm, maybe a support and also the respect because when we in the training, there's no more mommy and daughter there. It's <laughs> an <laughs> equal level of the athlete. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so we learn to respect each other, yeah. What have you learned about mom? I've learned that we can hash out any problem, any issue throughout training together. If we're training together, we can, if we're having any problems at home, it'll go away. Really that's true, because let's say you guys are not mm -hmm. uh, happy with each other for whatever reason, like it happens, right? Mm -hmm. it happens. Mother oh, that and daughter, happens. sure. <laughs> but you go to the weight room, Mm -hmm. And you probably kind of forget about it, right? Definitely. Yes. Yes. Everybody gets yes. so hype, all the energy yeah. in the room, our other teammates, our coach, everyone. Yes. That's, that's really cool. Changes the vibe. What, can you, what advice can you give other women who maybe want to try something like this? Just try it because you never know. Because yeah. I have no idea that when I compete, I only weigh 104 pounds. 104 pounds, and I can live way more than a wow. two times my body weight. And I really believe every woman has the potential to live at least two times body weight through the training. But we just don't try, you know. But it's just, I think you're missing up. And I'm really grateful any age, you know, everybody, men yeah. or women, to lift. You know, strength training is the really best way to keep yourself, you know, mobile and healthy. I like that I better than, than Nike's slogan, just do it, just try it. <laughs> just try right, so it. What, just we're going to try this. What, what is, how, much, how much weight do we have here? This is 135 pounds. The I bar itself is 145. Up. Oh, so 135 mm -hmm. total? Okay. So show us how it's done. Would you like okay. to go first, Mama? Oh. Mama first. Okay. <laughs> okay. Give it a shot. Okay. So you doing it without belt? No. Yeah. What's she gonna do here? Yes. She's doing sumo deadlifts. Oh, deadlift. It's completely different from my deadlift. My deadlift form, my feet are more narrow. Uh huh. Oh, I see. Out sumo, here. the legs are wide. Yes. I noticed that she has her hands mixed. Grip. One's in, one's out. Yeah. It creates out. the hook effect. 
Okay. So when you're deadlifting, instead of handling it like this, you're going right. to hold it in the fingertips. Ah, okay. And it acts as just a hook, so you're not pulling the So a lot, I've seen a lot of people at the gym, though, do it just with both hands like this. Is that incorrect? Or just no, a different it's not way? incorrect. There's Some multiple different ways of your grip, okay. but we prefer to do mixed grip. So you can probably do more weight when you do that? I would say so. It feels like, in my opinion, it feels like I'm going to lose the weight when it's double yeah. overhand, but having it mixed grip like that does create okay. that hook. Yeah, I can hold feeling. these belts. You can give it a shot. If you can handle that, that's yeah. <laughs> Can you do that? Yes, I can. <laughs> that's like nothing for you. How cool is it to see your daughter doing this yes. kind of thing? And you, how, how, how many competitions have you been in? Oh, maybe close to eight. So a lot, the, quite, quite a few. Oh man, I have no idea how many. Yeah, it's so, and you so compete familiar. together. Yes, yes. Every okay. competition yes. we're okay. together. Yeah. Well, I would like to present you with the commemorative belt. <laughs> you are. Congratulations. <laughs> wear that around town. It looks great with jeans. <laughs> thank, right? thank you. Yeah. I'll wear oh, thanks, jeans. Guys. You'll thank see me you. around town nice wearing you. it. You working out later today? <laughs> yes. Because that wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah. You guys. We'll be yeah. working out later today too. Right. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, still ahead, Doc. Our own Nancy Guffey drops by with holiday shows to add to your calendar right now. We're back after this.